Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. So let's check our secure connections, adjust our hoodies, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. For today's episode, I'm going to make a bold prediction about the malicious use of AI in politics for the upcoming 2024 U.S. presidential election. I am convinced AI will be weaponized in this fashion in short order after listening to the recent fake and fully AI-generated podcast that simulated a conversation between Joe Rogan and Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. If you have not heard this ChatGPT-created fake podcast, here is a sample. And it's an honor to have him on the show. So let's give a warm AI-generated welcome to Sam Altman. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing great, Joe. Thanks for having me on the show. Sam, this whole AI-generated podcast thing is pretty wild. It's like we're living in the future, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a strange experience, but it's also incredibly exciting. The advancements in AI technology have come a long way, and it's amazing to see what we can achieve with the tools we already have at our disposal. No one in the mainstream media is talking about this use of AI for this specific use case, so you're hearing it here first. The Dark Web Deacon will go on the record and say the first use of AI to have a major disruption in a U.S. election will be used for an October surprise in 2024. An October surprise, for those who are not aware, was a term coined in 1972. and refers to an unexpected political event or revelation in the month before a presidential election especially one that seems intended to influence the outcome. An October surprise can be in the form of an audio recording, a video recording, or some news report, often from an unverified source. Why do I believe this will happen in 2024? Let's turn the clock back to the 2016 election. Some of you may remember the legitimate tape from Access Hollywood, in which candidate Trump at the time said some crude things about women. I don't even wait. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the put. This was a classic October surprise that was expected to erode support for then candidate Trump. Now let's listen to another sample of a fake Joe Rogan podcast, this time of a simulated conversation between Joe Rogan and President Trump. Woke movement is trying to dismantle traditional ideas of what it means to be a man. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, it's a shame, absolutely a shame. We've always been known as a country with strong, confident, and successful men, and now they want to change all of that. It's just outrageous. That AI-generated podcast is impressive and horrifyingly realistic all at the same time. But no one would do this since it's illegal or immoral, you would say. Well, the U.S. political temperature is at a boiling point right now. The union has not been this divided since prior to the Civil War. Political shills, power-hungry authoritarians, and corrupt bureaucrats believe the other side is Hitler. You hear this analogy all the time. So in their sick minds, they will claim they are morally justified in a fake AI October surprise in order to stop the candidate they claim is Hitler and will end democracy from taking power. A simulated conversation of a political rival can now be so easily generated in such a way that the AI-generated conversation will have the political figure using a racial slur to alienate a racial group supporting them, or maybe have them mocking their base to reduce enthusiasm, or maybe something as simple as having them claim to accept a bribe or have cheated on their spouse during this fake audio exchange in order to hinder poll numbers. Skeptics will claim that this type of fake conversation will be exposed as a fake in time, so there's nothing to worry about. Well, these people are idiots for two reasons. In time is a key factor. If a fake AI recording like this goes viral days before an election, the mainstream media won't have enough time to correct the record. And reason number two, Americans are in a massive mainstream media echo chamber and the corrupt mainstream media has traded journalistic integrity for ideological social justice. This weaponizing of AI for political power will not be something that explodes only in the United States. It will be a worldwide problem, and it will be used to crush those who want to see change in their country, especially if you want more individual freedom and autonomy. Authoritarianism is on the rise in a way we have not seen in over 100 years, 
even among those who used to be considered democratic Western powers. So what is the remedy for this future AI political onslaught? Negative political stories, especially against those who support freedom of speech, individuality, and believe in sovereign nations over global elitism, will be most targeted. So be highly critical of those stories, especially if it's an October surprise. Also, listen to diverse media in not just your country, but around the world to gain a better and more accurate perspective. Support big media and small media for those who show humility, restraint, and openly admit when they make a mistake. If you think your media is perfect that you listen to and has never made a mistake and has never apologized for any mistake they've ever made, then your mind has already been captured. And also, lastly, always question authority, especially when it claims to only want to help you as they say this from the barrel of a gun. Get ready for AI to be weaponized for elections for the rest of your life. Check out the Dark Web Deacon merch store. We have high quality t-shirts, accessories, and signature hoodies, of course, and become a true dark web enthusiast and VIP. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday.